66 million years ago, Earth was quiet again. The age of the dinosaurs had ended in fire and darkness. But from the ashes, the survivors emerged. Small, scrappy and warm-blooded mammals. And with the dinosaurs gone, their time had finally come. The age of the Cenozoic era. The age of the mammals. This is the chapter that leads to us. In the beginning, mammals were tiny. Most were no bigger than a rat, hiding in burrows and scurrying through the undergrowth. But now, with predators like T-Rex out of the way, these humble creatures diversified rapidly. They grew bigger, bolder, some returned to the oceans and became whales, others took to the trees and became primates. Across millions of years, mammals adapted to every environment on Earth, from icy tundras to tropical jungles. The continents were still on the move. India crashed into Asia, crumpling the land upward to form the Himalayas. Africa drifted towards Europe, North and South America connected. These shifting plates reshaped climate patterns and isolated species, fueling waves of evolution and extinction. In the oceans, new currents circulated. On land, forests expanded, grasslands spread, and ice crept across the poles. Then came the primates. Around 55 million years ago, early primates swung through the trees in what is now Asia and Africa. They had forward-facing eyes, grasping hands, and larger brains, all traits that would shape the future. By six to seven million years ago, some of these primates began walking upright. One branch of this family tree gave rise to Homo habilis, the first human ancestor to use tools. Then Homo erectus, who migrated across continents. And finally, Homo sapiens, us, modern humans. We appeared roughly 300,000 years ago, just a blink in geological time. But it wasn't just life that was changing. So was the planet. The Cenozoic was marked by a long cooling trend. Ice sheets advanced and retreated. The Quaternary period began, around 2.6 million years ago, ushering in ice ages. A cycle of glacial advances and warmer interglacial periods. Massive animals like mammoths, saber-toothed tigers, and giant sloths roam cold expanses. Many would go extinct, possibly with the help of early human hunters. And here we are. The latest result of a 4.5 billion year long experiment. We build cities, launch satellites, split atoms, and explore planets. Yet, for all our progress, we are still part of Earth's vast and ancient story. One species among millions. One chapter among many. The Cenozoic isn't just the age of mammals. It's the age of adaptation, resilience, and transformation. And it's still unfolding, because the story of Earth isn't over. It never was. The continents continue to drift, Volcanoes still rise, species evolved, ice melts, climate shifts, and our place in it. What we do next becomes part of that legacy. This is our moment on the timeline. So let's not waste it. And as always, see you in the next one.